Hi, my name is Kevin Muldowney and I am the owner of Muldowney Physical Therapy. Today I'd like to explain to you how I strengthen someone who has neck pain who comes into my clinic with EDS. The first thing I do when I look at someone who has neck pain is I always strengthen their core. I look at the person biomechanically and I understand that if you actually do not strengthen the core first, the neck problems will consistently be the same over time because the foundation of the house, which we consider the SI joint, is not stable. So I will show you some core exercises today which constitute my level one mat exercises. And I will also show you my level two neck exercises to strengthen the neck and the shoulders. I hope these videos help you. Thank you. The first exercise we're going to show you today is supine marches. The patient will lay on their back, they will tighten up their stomach, contracting their transverse abdominis. Then they will lift up their leg about one inch off the ground. They will hold that for five seconds. Then we'll bring it down and they will go to the other leg. The thing you need to remember is to keep your transverse abdominis tight throughout the entire process. You will start this exercise in a minute and a half, add 10 seconds a day until you get to three minutes. The next exercise we're going to show you today are bridges. What you're going to do is lay on your back, knees hip width apart, then you're going to squeeze your buttocks and lift your pelvis up off the ground. You're going to hold that for a count of five and then come back down, return and then go right back up again. How high you go will be determined on whether or not you have back pain. If you have back pain going all the way up like Nicole does, limit your range of motion. Once you will do this exercise for a minute and a half, add 10 seconds a day until you get to three minutes. The next exercise I'll show you is ball squeezes. What you'll need to do is take a ball about the size of a soccer ball, place it between your knees, squeeze the ball, medium to high pressure, hold that for a count of five, and then relax. Make sure the ball doesn't drop out, and then squeeze again. You will hold this position, do this exercise for a minute and a half, Add 10 seconds a day until you get to three minutes. The next exercise we'll show you is the clam. Place a yellow tubing around your thighs. Make sure your knees are hip width apart. You will spread your knees apart, hold for five seconds, then return. Make sure your legs do not touch. You will perform this exercise for a minute and a half Add 10 seconds a day until you get to three minutes. The next exercise I'm going to show you is prone hip extension. You're going to lay on your stomach with a pillow underneath your hips. You're then going to lift your leg up, hold for a count of five, and then switch. Make sure when you lift your leg up, you only go as high until you feel your buttocks squeeze, and then go back down. You will do this for a minute and a half, add 10 seconds a day until you reach three minutes. The next exercise we're gonna show you is isometric neck. You're gonna place your hand on the front part of your head. You're gonna push your head forward into your hand, holding for five seconds. Then you will take your hand and place it on the side of your head, push again, head into hand, holding for five seconds. Then you will switch hands, place your opposite hand behind your head, you will push backwards into your hand, holding five seconds, and then you will place it on the side of your head, pushing your head into your hand, five seconds. You will continue to go around for four minutes total, you will add 20 seconds a day until you reach eight minutes. The last exercise we're gonna do is the chicken dance. What you're gonna do is maintain your elbows at 90 degrees, then lift your arms straight out to the side, making sure your elbows do not go higher than your shoulder, and then go back down. 
There is no holding, it's a continuous exercise. You will do this exercise for a minute and a half, add 10 seconds a day, until you get reach three minutes. The last exercise we'll do is full can. What you'll need to do is be in good posture, arms in the plane of the scapula, so not straight out in front of you, not out to the side, kind of in the middle. Then what you will do is you will lift your arms up, make sure your hands do not go above the height of your shoulders, and then back down. There is no holding involved in this. You'll just go up and down. It's continuous range of motion. You will do this exercise for a minute and a half, add 10 seconds a day until you get three minutes.